Good morning all you awesome people out there in the land of YouTube. I'm Craig Botwood and this is the Craigie Boy YouTube channel. Today we're heading to one of our regular farms. I'll be mostly getting the cows in, but I'll try and trim a couple of feet if I get the chance. But mostly, I'll be documenting the numbers and getting the cows in. Guys, if you like this channel, remember to click that subscribe button and give this video a big one of these. My day as usual starts with setting up the crush, so I have to get the glues, the blocks and the wraps into the cupboards and ready for us to head off to work. And Graham has kindly bought us some new gloves. So we had a minor mishap this morning. I kind of forgot the glue. So Graham's had to go back and get it. And the guys here at the farm have decided they know a good way to put the crush into position. Now that Graham's back, he's going to trim the cow's feet while me and Mark get the cows into the pen and then into the race. It's always good to have some help. She had a bad foot as she was standing in the race. She had a sole fracture on the back left foot 
and we've bandaged it, we put a block on. I say we, but really it was Graham. Hey Graham. Yes, I don't just sit on my phone and play all day by the way. We're waiting on the block drying. That is usually the case. Now this is a makeshift race so I have to work with what I've got which is pretty much a few gates put together so I can only fit two cows in at a time Come on girls That's it, go on Craig was employed for two main reasons. One was the cleaning aspect. So it's his job to make sure the crush is as clean as possible. Obviously I do help, but a lot of the reason he was employed was so that we could keep things as clean as possible. And two hands is much easier than one pair. He also gets the cows in, so he's always making sure there's a cow right up the rear. That sounds bad, but you know what I mean. And it's his job to put on the blocks and the bandages. He does a really good job of it as well. So as soon as I know this cow needs a block, I'll shout, block. He comes running over, sticks his block on, and then I'll tell him it might need a bandage or whatever. And then once the trim's finished, he'll bandage it up. And it works really well because it means the cow's in the crush as little as possible. So yeah, it works well. We don't want these cows in the crush for too long. The crush is fantastic. It's really oh, good. Right. But the longer they're in the crush, the more chance there is of something bad happening. They are stressed out for longer. They look calm, but they are stressed out. They don't want to be in there. Would you want to be captured? I don't think so. Although, they do seem quite comfortable. Oh, they um, are. I mean, look, look. She's just chilling, look. She is just chilling there, totally happy. The belly band holds them really comfortably. They have really soft mats on the bottom, which keeps their feet nice. Rubber flooring. Yeah, but yeah. Easy, a bit like Easy Fix. But not as good. Would you say they're not just the same? Genuinely, as easy fix? they're not as good as Easy Fix, yeah. yeah. I know it sounds like I'm just saying that, but I don't need to say that, especially on Craig's channel. Easy Fix rubber is the best rubber there is, there's no, no doubt about it. This rubber here is too flexible. If you look at the sides of the crush, you can just see right on the edge it's starting to come up. So it moves around a fair bit. Can you see on the edge there, Craig? Lift it up, probably lift it with your finger. So that is slightly too flexible for a cow. It's okay for a crush because she's only going to be in here for a little while, but you wouldn't want that on your farm floor, really. Yeah, but like I say, when he is carefully trimming out a cow's foot because it has something wrong with it, like a sole ulcer, he'll take his time with that, so it usually takes him longer. So I'll go around the other side and start trimming one of the front feet if there's time for that. There's a few negative comments on Craigie Boy's channel, by the way. People think I pick on Craig. <laughs> if I didn't make fun of Craig, he would worry. He yeah, would think there was something definitely. wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just Graham. And like I say, I give him it just as bad, maybe not as bad, because he's really good at it. But I try. But what are you supposed to do when you walk with each other 24 hours, well, 24 hours a day? You wish. <laughs> you wish it was 24 hours a day. <laughs> uh, well, at least eight hours a day. Now we get the last of these cows in.
Now to go and get our last cow of the day. She's hiding in one of these pens just down here. I just need to set up this rope so this gate doesn't swing open. There we go. And she's hiding down here. She's actually managed to sneak into this pen down here that's got a cow that's just calved. Uh, she shouldn't be in here, but she's somehow managed to sneak in. Here she is. I love baby calves, they're just so cute, but I don't think it's right to disturb them when they've just been born. Come on, girl. Let's go. You're the last one. Come on. She's not really wanting to go the way I want her to go. Uh, on one of our back feet, I think. This looks a bit lame. Right, come on. Up, girl. Come on. Almost there. That's you. Just need to press the lever. There we go. And she's to get back down to that same pen, Graham. What? To get back down to the same pen. Why didn't you, why didn't you film this for Because that's the first one you've done today. No, it's not. Second. Second. Third. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Other cow. Eh? Is she in with that other cow? No, she's to be anywhere here, but not in with that cow that's just calved. And that's done, it's done for another day. Time to get packed up and head on home as usual. I've just noticed my camera's dirty, I hope that didn't affect the footage. another dollar as they say and another load of happy cows me and Graham done for the day heading home and wait a minute I actually have to say something congratulations to Graham on 1 million subscribers on YouTube how awesome is that well done buddy it's a bit crazy isn't it uh, I can't believe it two years ago he was what what do you mean you can't believe it no I just I'm just saying I can't believe that you went from what nothing to 1 million subscribers. So you can't believe that people would want to subscribe to the channel? Is that, is that what you mean? Well, I've subscribed to the channel, so I believe. Yeah, but you're a special breed. <laughs> Just like he is, too. Huh? Very, very special. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. See you next time. Ciao! Bye!